Hello friends, welcome to Priyanka's Home Kitchen. Today, I am going to make spicy pomfret malai curry. And from this curry, you will get spicy and malai means creamy, both taste together. So it will be a little bit different taste. So let's start with ingredients. So for that here I have taken one big pomfret piece which I, I already cut and cleaned and also I have marinated it for about at least half an hour and for marinating here I have used uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of lemon juice. For spices here I have taken four uh, whole red chilies but if you want more hot you can add uh, more green uh, red chilies and one teaspoon of um, black peppercorns, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, one bay leaf, four cloves, five green cardamoms, and one cinnamon stick, one medium size onion chopped, two tomatoes chopped, pinch of sugar to, ta to taste but sugar is totally optional if you don't like you can skip it, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and half tablespoons of grated garlic, one tablespoon of grated ginger, three to four tablespoons of oil, around one cup of coconut milk and enough water. At first I'm going to roast these all spices and you can uh, roast them dry or you can use oil so here I am using oil and here I have added uh, one tablespoon of oil so at first I'm going to add this one cinnamon stick bay leaf six I mean sorry five cardamoms four cloves and stirring just a little bit after 15, 15 seconds I'm going to add this cumin seeds Next, coriander seeds, then stirring, and also adding this peppercorn, black peppercorn, and this red chilies, then stirring, roast them just lightly. And at this point you should keep the temperature at low to medium high. So after a few minutes the nice aroma is coming out and also it got changed color. So that means the roasting is done. So turn off the heat. And after that I took it out from the pan and then I cool it down and now I am going to grind it. So after grinding this is my ground spices and aroma is just awesome so now i'm going to make this fish curry so next i'm going to fry this marinated fish and so for that here i have taken one and half tablespoons of oil and i will fry them just lightly because this fish is very soft And after 2 minutes, I am going to turn it to the other side. So after 2 to 3 minutes, my frying is done. I have fried them slightly. So I am going to take them out. Next, here I have taken around 3 tablespoons of oil. So at first I am going to add this chopped onion. My oil is already heated. Stirring. And also at this point I am going to add this salt and sugar to taste. Again stirring. And I will fry this onion till it becomes like golden brown color so it became light golden brown color so now I'm going to add this ginger and garlic and again I will fry it for about uh, 2 to 3 minutes so stirring it after 3 minutes I'm going to add this chopped tomato Sorry. And 
also adding some water so my spices won't burn and stirring adding around half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and also adding that roasted and ground spices and I will cook it till tomato gets completely melted and oil starts to separate so keep stirring and at this point if it gets too dry you can sprinkle a little bit water otherwise spices can burn so after few minutes you can see that oil already has, has uh, separated out from the spices and uh, tomatoes already melted so now I'm going to add enough water to make gravy so after adding water cover it with a lid and when it will start to boil that time I will add the fishes so after few minutes it is boiling so now I'm going to add this fried fish and again cover it and cook it so after 5 minutes turn the all pieces to the other side and you have to do it very gently otherwise they can break they are very soft and then I am going to add coconut milk stirring gently and again I will cook it another 5 more minutes so after another 5 minutes my fish curry is done and gravy consistency is totally up to you so now I'm going to turn up the heat so friends here is my spicy pomfret malai curry you can take it with plain white rice and I garnished it with just little bit coconut milk and enjoy see you in my next